Hi my friends, today we model this part, you see the name is curved fixed wrench. The source comes from uh, Timoteo Carrasotto and it consists in this complicated geometry. We use the inventor and we don't need to create such complicated lines and so on. Let's see how to do. This part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carrasotto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182. I want you to see that this line is a line with this line. It doesn't seems to be, but it is. You see? This is my drawing. The most important thing here is that this point is in the middle of this slope line which connects two points and uh, it uh, is also at the connection of these two arcs. Okay, let's start. New standard millimeters IPT XY plane and we draw a line of uh, 275. This is not an axis but a construction line. Then we draw a slope line here. I keep press the left button. I go somewhere here and we have an arc. Again I keep press the left button and I go here. I connect with a line. Then I draw this connection line between the two points and I make coincident the center point of this line, this point, with the end of that arcs. The angles are 20 degrees. This is 20 and the other is also 20. It is parallel and I accept this. When I draw this line it was parallel with the uh, upper one. This dimension is 32. This is 40. And we continue with drawing three short lines. This is the first, which is perpendicular on this 20 degrees sloped line. In the middle, yes, the middle of this line is on this line and they are perpendicular. Here 35 perpendicular on each end of arc 
and 40 degrees, 40 millimeters here, uh, also perpendicular on this, and placed in the midpoint of this line on the 20 degrees sloped line. Let's do this line. which is perpendicular as I said with the mid point placed on this end and the dimension is 30 the other one I can draw some lines here Con construction lines to connect this point this point and this point now we have a better image of the situation this is the vertical line and here one two three four uh, entities uh, meet themselves yes very interesting good I draw a line aligned with this one because it is perpendicular with its center placed in this point the length of the this is 35 it is perpendicular on this arcs yes the last one line is this one which is already perpendicular as a, you saw there and we place it here the length is 40 okay now some arcs this is the first with the center placed not uh, random but as you can see in this drawing there are centers here one three and four one is the center of this arc three is for the internal four is for external how do I know this? You'll see that you can place this point outside or inside of the point one. I place this point here and this is not good because it is outside. Control Z. This point is placed on this uh, line. Okay, the other one arc is this one from this point to this point with the center placed on this line, but I didn't. get uh, the, the end point you see this center now is here not outside the third arc is this one not tangent and with this point 
here now control Z with this point here to be inside these uh, lines or on these lines the last arc connects this point you see you need to see the green point not yellow not any other color now I am sure I connect it and here now I place this point on this line I suppose I made the uh, non accepted uh, tangency. I create again that arc, then I place this point on this line. Now is okay good now circles you see this is radius 27 and this is radius 32 circle radius of 27 and the other one radius of 32 new arcs we place as you can see this one I didn't place well this but they are connected now I apply tangency between both ends the same for the other three arcs arc point and I try to catch one tangent you see up yes and I impose this other tangency same here arc with tangency up and the other arc from here to the circle with one tangent and the other placed by us you see you don't need to place radii nowhere sure without uh, this too because they are very nice connected with the tangencies I trim I split this arc and this arc and I make all this as construction they don't participate to the closed contour the same here split this and select all this to be construction oh this is not well placed I didn't select it now is okay you see we have a close contour with uh, some construction lines there arcs lines finish sketch extrude this was not uh, <laughs> converted to construction 
symmetrical with a 10 the thickness is 10 you see here now you see 17 and 19 these uh, cylinders at the ends of the part we use uh, this plane XY F7 project this arc and we draw a circle with the same radius finish sketch extrude symmetrical 19 then the same plane for a new sketch F7 project draw the circle finish sketch extrude symmetrical 17 good then you see these uh, dimensions 24 with uh, this diameter as uh, support for these two points the angle here is 120 all uh, mechanical engineers knows this this is from a nut hexagonal nut with the 24 uh, dimension this dimension is uh, not useful it results as uh, we create a geometry let's do this this is the plane F7 we need the sloped line so we go to the first sketch we make it visible we project that line this red small red line and again not visible but we have the line we draw we, we project also this circle and we draw lines one two this is parallel with this and we use the tool mirror for obtaining the other side dimension here is 24 and the angle is 120 I draw a line between these two points and I place its midpoint on the center point of the circle this must be construction finish extrude this symmetrical cut through all the part okay same procedure for the other end xy plane sketch F7 project geometry project this line from the other sketch hide that sketch and we draw two lines one 
two but not horizontal I don't like this I select the constraint mark and I apply delete then I make parallel this line with this line I connect again the point with the line I mirror the two lines about this axis apply then dimension of 34 34 the angle of 120 120 I draw that interesting line I place its center over the center of the circle I make it construction and that's all extrude this symmetrical cut all the way okay now we see that uh, there are fillets of two and other fillets are radius one what are they this I select this edge two millimeters is by default then that uh, are the fillets plus one millimeter for all this arcs around our part okay that's all let's see what about the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the value home and there is a small difference but it doesn't matter all you saw to be made here it is uh, in this volume this new volume that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye